Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Well, as you guys know, Whitebeard is here. I mean, EX Whitebeard. Finally, we have got him in our One Piece bounty rush. He is already dominating the meta. However, soon when more White Element characters will be introduced, he will be much, much stronger than he is now. For now, we have not got any Black Element characters in the game, but still, we have some characters that can withstand his attacks and can KO him easily. So, without wasting any more time, let's see top 10 best counter characters of EX Whitebeard before any Black Element arrives. Now before that, let me tell you quick explanation about Whitebeard, why he is dominating the meta and his pros and cons. So. Whitebeard have one invincible skill which ignore defense stats, and both skills inflict tremor. His skill too attacks at every treasure of the team and create a shield. Also, he have very short cooldown of both skills due to his traits of attacking, healing on tremor. And last for now is he can nullify 80% time of status effects. Now, before we see the counters, there are some characters which can withstand him and can do very well against him, like Gear 5, Claw and Odin. However, I am not putting these type of characters in this list as counter, meaning one who can defeat Whitebeard in like 8 out of 10 matches easily. And characters like Gear 5 can defend very well against him. But if you want to KO him or get his treasure, it will not be that easy. Same goes for Claw and Odin. Even though Odin have some traits that can give advantage, but still it will be very difficult to KO Whitebeard with these characters in his treasure area. Also, Alber, he has high damage skills, but fragile. Whitebeard's multi-hit attack can KO him easily. You can win but need to be very careful with him. So that's that. Now let's see our top 10 counter characters who can defeat Whitebeard or have a great advantage over him. Number 10, Rayleigh or Yasop. See the thing is these two units are great, but not everyone can use them. Their main thing by which they can KO many characters is their attack they perform on perfect dodge. Not only that attack deals fixed 30% damage, but also give them their dodge back. So basically, if you are skilled enough to get perfect dodges, you can defeat Whitebeard easily. Three to four dodges and we'll get a body. Number nine, Red Defender Garp. Well, Garp is a very good counter of every captain unit. He has so many healings, and his skills are great that can increase enemy skill cooldown and extra damage too. He can very well fight against Whitebeard. However, only thing you need to be aware of is the Tremor effect. He can get Tremored, but also heals from every attack of Whitebeard. So it's basically depend on skills and good metal sets at last. Number 8. Blackbeard. Yeah, you heard me right. This old unit can withstand against new Whitebeard. Well, he has very good traits against power users. Extra damage and good skills and cooldown reduction. Then again, only thing that can give you a headache is tremor effect of Whitebeard. But if you manage to dodge that, you can defeat him. Number 7. Raid on Onigashima Nami. This version of Nami is very strong, Rat Attacker. Her damage is insane and in skill 2 she ignores defense or damage reduction, I don't remember, but she can one-shot many defender with her skill 2. She got enough heals, skill cooldown reduction and attack increase. With some good metal set she can defeat Whitebeard easily. Number 6. Extreme Unit, Blue Attacker Luffy. Well, this version of Luffy has insane damage. He deals a lot of damage to every character, especially after getting attack increase. Now his insane damage and hold skill, which inflicts stun, can KO Whitebeard easily if you fight him alone. 
Number 5. Charlotte Family. Cracker. Well, Cracker is doing well for a really long time since he released, I guess. He can also nullify 80% time of status effects, meaning Tremor will not be a headache. Then there are skills. Skill 1 spawns shield that has a really short cooldown and if destroyed 100% cooldown. Also healing when shield get destroyed and heals of status effects too. Now other skill is long range charge attack which ignore damage reduction. Meaning it gives insane damage to Whitebeard no matter where he is. You can use him for sure if you has it. Number 4. Hody Jones. Well, 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 here comes the good part now. As you guys know, Whitebeard has a lot of traits, and good one. However, there is one important trait that isn't there, and that is to remove buffed state of enemies. Yeah, and due to this, Hody Jones have a great advantage over him. He has very short skills cooldown. Resist, stagger, and nullification of status effect in his buffed state. Also, heals on skill and very short cooldown. Not to mention very good traits for a runner. Resist, stagger, and downed effect when capturing a nullification of status effects. Also, his skill 2 gives 200% extra damage to power users, meaning he can one-shot White Beard with that also has a short cooldown. Number 3. Fleet Admiral Akenu, or Sakazuki. Well, as I said earlier, due to not having a trait of removing buffed state Sakazuki can defeat him easily. He has attack increase, very good skills and status effect that deals percentage damage. So in buffed state, he can destroy White Beard, especially in his Mag Mag state. Number 2. Film Red Shanks. Yeah, you guess it. Shanks is returning in the meta. He is a very good counter of White Beard. He has insane damage. Also attack increase and healing. And his skill too and perfect dodge puts him into hockey state. He can nullify status effects and being targeted. He can destroy White Beard easily if used correctly. Now number 1. Hybrid Yama 2. Well, she is very good against White Beard. Her status effect Frostbite gives fixed percentage damage after infliction. Also, she has a shield that inflicts Frostbite too. And if you put HP in medals, it would be very hard to destroy her shield. White Beard attacks her, his HP will be reduced. So that's why she is a very good counter of any character who does not nullify status effects completely. Also, there is Uta version 1. She also has a shield and gives insane damage to the enemies. However, her shield can get destroyed easily. But the thing is, if you play safely and attack at the right moment, she can easily one-shot White Beard. As not only her attack is insane, but also she increases her crit by 300%. So that's that. These were the counters of White Beard, which I think doing well against him. In future, Black Element characters will be introduced, and those will be the official counters of him. But these characters are also doing great, so you can use them. That's it for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.